Hello friends, this is Ramna. Today I will show demo on how to load the data from SQL table and create tab delimited text file with current date in SIS. So first I will show my table here. This is my EMP table which is in my test database. So there are 20 rows in this table. I want to load this entire data into the text file. So before that you need to create four variables. First one is test path, it, it is nothing but destination folder, file name, date time, date time and finally test full file path. Last two variables you need to write expressions. So I will show how to do this now in this demo. So I am taking new package variables test path which is my string data type. So I want to load the data into this path. So I am taking this path. Right now there is no files in this path. Once after running the package you will create file with the EMP file name. So I am taking EMP as file name, changing the data type as string. EMP file name. Next date time. Date time he also I am taking string data path, string data type. And here you need to write one expression here. Get date. My file has saved with EMP dot EMP with uh, today's date. So for that I need to take get date WSTR comma 50. You want to convert this one to evaluate. So you will get including hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds, everything. But I want only date. So for that I am writing substring function. Substring take three parameters one comma ten up to the length of the ten I want to extract so that you will get only date I want to replace the hyphens as well replace hyphen comma yeah this is my date okay so final one is Test full file path. Test full file path. I am taking string. So here it is the combination of all three. So what are the variables we created? So I want to drag all these variables. First one, test path plus the file name plus now I want to concatenate with the underscore underscore plus I am taking date time date time dot txt dot txt so if you evaluate so this is how the file name looks like after once after downloading the data from SQL table. So click OK. So this is a regular process. Now you have to drag the data flow task and take the OLDB source. So since your uh, source is the EMP table from test database, you connect your database and take your table EMP columns. Now I am taking the flat file destination. Connecting with the destination. Double click. Now I take the delimited file. So browse the file where you want to save. 
so I am saving this part mp is my file name so column names in first row columns so here I, I need to select the tab delimiter preview input all names now go to mappings yeah final step you need to you need to create one connection string with the property here is connection string so I am dragging just full file path just full file path connection string ok so all set. Now if you run the package, EMP file name is EMP and with with the today's date, one file is generated, one text file is generated, and the uh, data will be split into tab delimited. So all 20 rows of EMP table will be displayed in this tab delimited text file. So I'm going to run the package now. Yeah, see here from source to file destination, 20 rows are moved. Go and check your path here, destination. See, EMP file, EMP file name, and this is the today's date with txt. Everything is written as per the expression. So, open the file. So header names, including header names, everything is fitted with tab delimited. So this is how you need to generate the tab delimited file with current date by writing the expression. So only tricky part here is writing the expressions. So I will show one more time. Dest path and file name we can directly st static. So whereas come to date time, date time you need to write the get date and uh, replacing with the iPhones and using the substring you want to take only date and then full file path, the dest full file path is nothing but dest path your destination folder, a file name and concatenating with the date and finally concatenating with the dot txt file. Okay. This is how you iterate and in last you iterate the you need to create one connection string of from your flat file connection manager for just full file path. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.